What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at one young player from each LOI team who is set for a huge 2021. If you want to enjoy the video guys please drop a like on it down below. If you can hit 50 likes that would be greatly appreciated and if you do like the content why not stick around and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is greatly appreciated. We're working towards 3k. Still a long way to go but we'll get there. Uh, so yeah really appreciate it if you can uh, drop a like on the video and subscribe. Let's jump right in into it. Starting off with Bohemians, the obvious one to look at there is Dawson DeVoy. He did play 10 times for Bohemians last season, so he was starting to kind of establish himself. He does play in that kind of number 10 central attacking midfield position uh, where Daniel Mandrew would have played. So obviously he has moved on to Shamrock Rovers. So there is, I think, I feel a really big opportunity in 2021 for Dawson DeVoy to really establish himself as that player in that position as a real kind of main creative outlet. And I think the 19-year-old is so unbelievably talented that he can really Really do it. He will have competition from the likes of Keith Ward still and uh, a couple of new additions as well but I do think that Dawson DeVoy is set for a huge season in 2021. Moving on to Derry City we're going to look at Ronan Boyce a young right back who has signed a two year deal with the Candy Stripes. Obviously Declan Devine is a fan of him. I believe he's made his debut for the first team last season in 2020 so there could be a big opportunity for him in 2021 to nail down the right back spot. He has been capped at underage level for Ireland as well so it does show that he has got good pedigree good schoolboy pedigree behind him and yeah he looks a really good player and could be in store for a big 2021 next up for Drogheda United we're going to look at Brandon Birmingham a really talented right winger he can play in other positions as well but I think he's best off the right hand side he actually played a lot of games for Drogheda last season he featured 16 times and scoring a decent return of 5 goals in the first division last season stepping up from the first division to the Premier Division it's night and day really but it is a challenge that a 19 year old will really relish you feel next up for Dundalk we're going to look at 17 year old youngster Val Adi Dokun who has recently signed a two year contract extension he actually signed a professional deal last season when he was 16 so it shows that Filippo Giovignoli is a big fan of him he made his first team debut uh, against Shamrock Rovers at home obviously it was a 4-0 loss but he did uh, come on for his first team debut it shows that Giovignoli is looking towards him as potentially being a breakthrough star this season and he's another kind of attacker on this list that can play in a number of different positions but he looks really really promising and I'm hoping that in 2021 he can get a couple of first team opportunities and really take them. Finn Harps next and we're going to look at 20 year old Stephen Doherty. He made three league appearances last season and also a couple of played a couple of games in the cup as well. It did look like he was going to get a, a real big chance next season in the centre of the park. They have brought in Will Seymour and Connor Barry now so there will be competition for places there but Stephen Doherty has signed, re-signed for the new season. Ollie Horgan is a fan of him and he definitely will get a chance in there you feel and it's just up to him whether he can take it or not. Obviously Seymour and Barry are both good players coming in and hopefully that competition will be healthy and we'll also give them a squad rotation option as well to kind of freshen things up game to game newly promoted Longford Town will be excited by the signing of Pacey winger Callum Thompson he did spend last season with Bray Wanderers in the first division played a lot of games for them and Longford Town saw enough in those games to think he can make the step up to the Premier Division with them and offer them something from the right hand side his way over in England with Wolves for a bit of a schoolboy career I believe he even played up, up as high as their under 23s so he does have good pedigree and he's the type of player I feel that can have Longford fans on the edge of their seat this season Longford manager Dara Doyle did comment on the signing of the 19 year old saying he has excellent pace and dribbling so yeah he is that type of player that will really excite the fans and, and could probably give them a bit of an outlet when they're uh, going to be kind of behind in games probably not having much possession having someone with a bit of pace on the counter attack at times is going to be key for Longford in kind of nicking points throughout the season as, as they try to stay up realistically so yeah having a player like Callum Thompson could be huge for them Champion Shamrock Rovers have a lot of youngsters coming through the ranks they had just only recently loaned out Brandon Kavanagh to Bray Wanders who I thought could have potentially got a chance in their first team but the loaning out of him shows that Stephen Bradley does rate Neil Ferrugia ahead of him in terms of development Neil Ferrugia still only 21 years of age it feels like he's been a bit around a bit longer than that but yeah he's still so young and I feel we're still yet to see the best of him could this be his year to really establish himself and nail down a spot in Stephen Bradley's first 11 he has filled in that le uh, left wing back and stuff as well for Stephen Bradley so he does have an element of versatility to his game I do like to see him further up the pitch though he did only score one goal in 14 games last season so goals would definitely be something he's looking to add to his game although a lot of those games will be uh, substitute appearances and stuff like that I think goals is definitely something he look to add to his game no doubt. In terms of Sligo Rovers the name I keep hearing as one to watch for 2021 is Johnny Kenny. He seems like he's certainly one to keep an eye on this season. He has recently signed a two-year 
professional contract with the club only 17 years of age as well but he did score 23 goals in their academy last year at 17 you feel it's probably still a little bit too young to break through properly this season it probably won't be his proper year to break through but I wouldn't be surprised to see him come off the bench and nick a few goals for them Liam Buckley has come out and described him as a bright quick brilliant finisher and has the physique as well which of course is going to be so important to come up against huge six foot whatever defenders and um, it's going to be so important for him to be able to kind of be able to take a take a shoulder take a kick um, so 17 years of age you think probably this season probably won't be his breakthrough year but definitely do not be surprised to see him on the score sheet at times at St. Pat it's a real case of take your pick between two 18 year old midfielders who did both make their debuts last season Dara Burns and Ben McCormick both looking like really really talented young players the pair made their first team debuts for Pats but they were also uh, part of the under 19 side that won the league last season obviously beating Bowes in that final game and um, both looked really good in it as well I believe Dara Burns actually scored the winner in that match against Bowes so yeah two really promising midfielders that be looking to kind of break through in 2021 players like Robbie Benson and uh, John Mountney in that team as well can give them guidance and they can learn so much from them in, in training as well so that's real real important for me Jamie Lennon as well kind of a young 22 year old midfielder that kind of can help them out and has been through that process of coming through the academy as well so I think there's a real good opportunity for these two lads to make a breakthrough in 2021 for one for next season defender Niall O'Keefe will be one to watch he made his breakthrough last season and he has re-signed for the 2021 campaign well there you have it guys the best youngster from each LOI team in the Premier Division that I think will have a breakthrough year in 2021 if you did enjoy the video please drop a like on it down below as I said the target is to hit 50 likes so it'd be greatly appreciated if you can get in and around that and if you're new around here make sure to subscribe it is greatly appreciated on our road to 3k we will also have a bit of an announcement coming towards the end of the week hopefully um, something big hopefully coming um, ahead of the 2021 season so we've got a lot of stuff that we're planning on doing obviously ahead of the season as well and I'm so excited to get back to having my Friday night football but I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe thanks for watching guys catch us in a bit